This March, we're marking Women's History Month by celebrating the remarkable women in Southern New England. And today, Kate Walsh introduces us to Catalina Martinez, a Rhode Islander who has conquered many challenges to get to where she is now. You know, you can't see an environment as unattainable just because you can't see yourself there yet. As a young girl in Providence, Catalina Martinez never would have imagined she'd have the life she lives now. So I grew up in a you know, Cuban immigrant family, very little money, um, all hardworking people, and they had very oppressive gendered beliefs. I lived mostly with my grandparents, and they believed that only boys should go to school. Little did she know at the time, those challenging experiences would give her the drive and hope that's led her to not only helping herself, but countless others navigate similar experiences. By the time I was 16, I had dropped out of high school, moved out of my home, and had my own apartment fully self-supporting and also partially supporting my mom, you know, working three jobs at a time. And that's just, that wasn't an uncommon story at that time. Catalina was laser focused on improving her life. To do that, she learned new skills each day to get better paying jobs and get out of poverty. After earning a degree in medical assistance, she got her first break, helping lay the foundation for the Urban Collaborative Accelerated Program, or UCAP school in Providence, by working as the assistant to the very capable quadriplegic founder. All of those kids came from such challenging circumstances and still came to school and tried so hard. Also the teachers there, special, special people and they encouraged me to keep going to college. So that's what she did. For all those five years, I took one class a semester wherever I could. Catalina was finally at a point where she could follow her heart and passion, which was the wonder of the ocean, by studying at the University of Rhode Island. I got to go to Puerto Rico on a, on a grant um, and study um, tropical you know, coral reef. While studying, she lived and worked in a women's shelter, reminded every day of everyone's potential if they have the opportunity to reach it. There was no stopping this passion for the ocean. Catalina went on to earn three graduate degrees from URI, which has led to 20 years of ocean expeditions and working as the regional program manager for NOAA Ocean Exploration. But her latest adventure and passion is one that's certainly been there all along. My job at this point you know, is to lower the bar for the next me. That's, that's my job. I'm the wedge in the door so that others can get through that door, right? You know, I am very lucky to be where I am. I worked very hard to get here, but I have to help, you know, others get to those positions of influence and leadership and power. As a diversity professional, she follows the motto, lift as you climb. When you come from challenging circumstances and you find success despite that, mm -hmm. those are superpowers. incredible story right there. Now Catalina Martinez is just one of the four local finalists for the Rhode Island Remarkable Women Award. We will be announcing the winner in April and she also will now be considered for next stars nationwide's 2023 Woman of the Year Award.